What's up Toaster Studios? This is Brett Vates being the video here for another Yo-Yo Tricks the Trade video coming up here today and in this video we're going to have a look at a pretty complicated classic advanced Yo-Yo trick it's called Spirit Bomb so we're going to be talking about it here today. I made a tutorial for this trick actually last year. You guys can check out my tutorial video if you want to learn how to do Spirit Bomb. Definitely one of the more complicated classic advanced Yo-Yo tricks. If I had to say it's, it's probably one of the hardest classic advanced Yo-Yo tricks it's definitely one of the top three or top two, uh, depending how you look at it, but it is complicated, it is hard, it takes practice. So like I said, you can check out my tutorial video for more like in-depth advice on how to do it. We're going to be talking about it here today, the spirit bomb. So let's do that. Intro, let us go. Alright Toaster Stools, let's start talking about the classic advanced yo-yo trick called Spirit Bomb. It starts off with a strong breakaway throw, just like most other yo-yo tricks. You go into the wrist mount right here. And from here I perform an underpass move, so the yo-yo comes over like this. And I put the yo-yo into those two strings on the left side, and just like this. From here I pop the yo-yo up into that top string, I cross my arms. I pop it up a second time, I uncross my arms into the triangle, and you're left in this position here. You can dismount from the wrist mount like normal, and that's the trick. That's the Spirit Bomb, classic advanced yo-yo trick. It takes a lot of practice, it's really hard, especially that second popping move. It's really hard to get the yo-yo into that triangle right here. And you really gotta open it up and practice catching it inside the triangle and onto the string. It can be really hard, but with enough practice, you can definitely get it down. This trick also kind of reminds me of the classic advanced yo-yo trick called Quijibo, which is this trick right here, which we had a tutorial for last year, recently. So it's this move here, that's the trick right there. And Spirit Bomb looks like this. A little bit similar how you're crossing your arms and you're popping it up. Spirit Bomb is definitely a lot harder of a trick. Once you practice enough, you can do it as many times as you want to, and you can hit it pretty consecutively. And even sometimes for me still, I have, I have problems sometimes getting it into that. That second popping move, sometimes I'll miss it. So even after you practice for a long time, and you know you might still miss it sometimes. It just takes a lot of control and practice as you put the yo-yo into that top string. Right here, I'm going to cross my arms, just like this, and you're in that position. I pop it up, my throw hand comes over, as I separate my two arms and hands, and then I land into that triangle right there. And once I'm in that position, I can dismount from the wrist mount like normal right there. Bring the area back to my hand. One last look at the spirit bomb, guys. Take a look at my tutorial if you guys want to learn how to do this trick, where I give you guys even more advice on the spirit bomb. That's it right there. One, one last look at the dismount, which is right here. We're going to have the dismount. You're left without any knots in the trapeze, which is really nice. And you're finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yo-Yo Tricks the Trade here today on the classic Vans Yo-Yo Trick called Spirit Bomb. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And subscribe to my channel to see some more videos coming up pretty soon here once again. It's going to be super exciting. You're not going to want to miss some of these videos coming up. Because they're going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yo, you tricks the trade here today on Spirit Bomb. And I'll see you guys again next time for another Yo, you tricks the trade video.